The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 12, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 12th of December, 1976, in Hyderabad, India. <laughs> said that Natu eva aham not tongue, nor ime dalad. Either I or you or all these people who have assembled here in this battlefield, Janadhipa, kings, in the battlefield, Janadhipa, they are not ordinary men. Now, in the battlefield, the poor mercenaries, they go to live their life, whereas the Janadhipa, the leaders of the people, they sit down very comfortably. They do not go to the battlefield. They simply give order in the IT. And the poor mercenaries, paid soldiers, they are paid for giving their life. Money is so sweet that one is prepared to give his life for money. Such men are sent to the war field. And the Janadhipa, they are after also money, but they carefully avoid the battlefield. Uh, minister of Defense, perhaps he has never seen a battlefield. Minister of Defense. Formerly it was not like that. When there was fight, because they are Kshatriyas, Kshatriyas, they will never go back from fighting. Yuddhecha prayanam, that is the symptom of Kshatriya. When there is fight, they will come forward first. Saudya, Piyya, Bijam, Siddhecha prayanam, Isra Bhavancha, Dhananch. Satriya's means that very powerful, strong, and when there is fight, a Satriya, if he is challenged by somebody that I want to fight with him, he cannot deny. Yes. Uh, what kind of fight you want? Uh, bows, arrows, or club, or sword. Anyway. They will fight. And fight means uh, un until one is dead, the fight will go. That is fight. When Krishna and Arjuna and Bhim went to Jarasandra, Jarasandra was very powerful king. So before Maharaj Yudhishthira is becoming emperor, uh, it was the system that all the other kings within this world, they must submit. Either submit or fight. So, Krishna uh, and uh, Arjuna and he went to Jarasandra. He was very charitable to the Brahmins. And these three persons, went there dressing themselves as poor brahmin. So 
in the assembly, they beg from Jarasandha, Sir, we have come to beg from you for fight. To start to say the other soldiers, he advised that let us fight with Jarasandha alone. Why he should unnecessarily bring so many soldiers? And we have to also. Why these poor soldiers will give life? Better go. Let us individually fight. So Jarasandha could understand that they are Kshatriyas. They have come in the dress of a Brahmana to beg. Because Kshatriya cannot beg. So he accepted. Yes. Then he selected me to fight with him. He rejected Arjun and Krishna also. That he was not fit for fighting with me. So there was fighting. On twenty-eight days, the fighting was going on from morning to evening and at night they were friends. Bhima, Arjun, and Krishna was the guest. And he received them as guests. They were eating together, talking together. In the morning, again fighting. This is Kaktriya. It is sport, sporting. But that sporting was meant for. Uh, until one dies, the fighting will go. Uh, so, Yuddhecha Palayanam, this is the qualification of Kutriya. So here it is said, uh, Krishna, Krishna is chariot driver of our zone. So he says, Janadhipa. There are many kings, different parts of the world, they join. Janadhipa, the leaders, when there is fight, the leaders must come forward. And as soon as the leaders are killed, then it is victory. Not by killing the soldiers or common man by atomic bomb. No. That was not fight. So Krishna says, not to eva aham. Krishna is individual person. God is person also, uh, bhakti, the one who does not know what is God, they think impersonally, but God is person. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He appeared upon this earth as person, as the son of Vasudev, He acted as person. Original God is person, not imperson. Imperson is a feature, just like the sun sign. This is the imperson. But the sun sign is coming from the sun glow. Uh, that is a local place, and within the sun glow there is sun God. He is person. He is not imperson. Similarly, the impersonal feature, Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavani, the Shabdate, absolute truth. The imperson is a feature of God. Angojuti. Jasya Prabha Prabhavatu Jagadanda Koti. It is if bodily raised impersonal Brahma, but God is person. Here he said that natu uh, eva aham. Aham means I am, person. Jatu, at any time, nasam, we are not annihilated. Not to, uh, not strong. You are also not annihilated. Because Arjuna is jiva and Krishna is God. So both of them are existing, part and parcel. Just like 
this sunshine. What is this sunshine? It's very small atomic particles of shining material. This is sunshine combined together. Similarly, we are also a small particle of the rays, bodily rays of God. We are living entities, very minute particles. Mamai Vāṅśa jīva kūta jīva loka sanā. Now we are also individual and God is also individual, person. And all the kings or the soldiers assemble, they are also individual. So this individuality is never lost. Krishna says that at present we are individuals, and in the past we are individuals. Then one may say in the future we may become one, amalgamated, as the Mahavadi philosopher says that as soon as we become liberated, we become one with the Absolute. No, that is not fun. Here it is say, na ca eva na bhavishya. It is not that in future we shall not remain individual. We shall remain individual. Na bhavishama, no. Two negatives makes one positive. That means in the future also we shall exist as individual. Na chaiva na bhavishyama. Survey. All of us. All means, Krishna says, I, you, and all the other peoples, kings, and soldiers, we shall remain as individual. Then where is oneness? This Mahavadi theory that after liberation we shall all become one with God, that is not mentioned here. This is bogus theory. Real that we remain individual. So long we are not in a position to act means so long just like ghost. Ghost is also individual. But because the ghost does not get this material body, they are invisible. They create disturbance for want of this body. Those who have got experience of ghost in some house, the ghost is there, his individual soul. But because he hasn't got this material covering, that is a punishment. For the most sinful person, that is a punishment, that he does not get this body, although he wants this body. Because for enjoyment we want this body. Body is the combination of senses in instrument. Uh, if I want to touch you, I require hand. And through hand I feel the pleasure of touching. So the ghost wants to touch, but he hasn't got the instrument. That is ghost. But there are ghosts. It is not fifty says. It is a fact. Ghost means without this material body. So, so long we are materially contaminated, we require this material body for enjoying senses. As a spiritual world, uh, we get our spiritual body developed, so there is no question of uh, becoming ghost or individual. There is. The person is always existing. Uh, that is the purport of this verse. Nacaivana bhavishyama sarvivayam atapparam atapparam after this. When after this body is ended, uh, the individuality continues. Simply we change our body. This is the bhasan, and it is explained in the next verse, Dehinasmindasadehi kaumāra yovanamdara tathādehāntara prāpti. We are individual always. 
But we are changing this body from uh, one type of body to another body according to our karma. Karmana daivanatrena jantal deha apapati. By superior examination, we get a body, karmana. But at the time of death, uh, it is decided what kind of body we are going to have next. Uh, that is decided by superior authority. Uh, you cannot dictate that give me this body, I, or I don't want this body, I want a body. No. That is not in your hand. He can do, you are given freedom. Uh, the, the human form of life, you are given freedom to act. Although there is direction that you act like this, but if you don't like, you can act. Jathet kuru. You can act. But you become implicated with your karma because you have to act according to the modes of nature. The modes of nature are three, sadhugan, rajagan, tamagan. So if you act uh, in the sadhugan, then you will be promoted to the higher primary system, urdhanga chanti sattva If you act in the rajagan, then madhyati chanti rajasa. And if you act in tamagon, uh, then jaghanna guna vittishtha adhoga chanti tamasa. Jaghanna. Tamasa means very abominable activities. The other day I was speaking, I saw one gentleman, Indian gentleman, he was eating the intestines of hogs in the earth. That is very palatable, they say. Some most normal. Hog, the stool eater, and its intestine that is cooked and he's eating. How much tamago? Jagarna. Jagarna Gunavitri. Very abominable. So that's why he is going to be a hog. This is going on. We are in this material nature. Purusha prakriti sthopi bhumti prakriti jana guna. We are in this material world according to our association and different modes of nature. Uh, we are making one type of mentality, and at the time of death, that mental uh, position is responsible for carrying me in a different type of body. In this way, uh, we are changing body one after another. So, we are spirit soul. Uh, this is the chance of rectifying or purifying our existence. If you like, we can purify our existence in this human form of life. This Krishna consciousness, no man may to purify the existence. And after that, sapta de hang punat If you become perfect in Krishna consciousness, means you understand Krishna. Janma karma chubu. Simply by understanding and acting accordingly, you can purify your existence and next life means after giving up this body. This body we have to give up. But those who are not purifying the existence, they will accept another material body. And those who are purified the existence, they will go back home, back to God. Thank you.